Hi, this is 15 Master Jedi coming to you with another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to be looking at Commander Wolf from the Clone Wars. There's a very nice picture of Commander Wolf on the side. As you can see, if you remove the bubble properly, it will actually show almost a full image, except for his feet. Go on to the back of the packaging. You see a hologram picture of Commander Wolf, which is the only time you see him in this uh, first wave of clone armor. You do see him in the most recent season of Clone Wars, which I believe is season 4. And the phase 2 armor, which is the more Stormtrooper looking. You have full figure, and then you have a little description of the character. If you want to read that, you can. Pause it. You got other figures in lane. You got LS, Aqua Droid, and it's got Anakin Skywalker phase 2 and Ahsoka Tainu phase 2. He does come with his Galactic Battle Game card, which is has a picture of him photoshopped on Geonosis, I believe, or Tatooine. I'm definitely sure. I'm almost 99% sure it's Geonosis. They do have another figure that has the same kind of diorama style, which is the Plo Koon with the speeder bike. Accessories wise, he comes with the Clone Wars style blaster pistol, and then it also comes with the rocket launcher. It doesn't shoot very far, but the button up here shoots it, and it's pretty simple. It has a nice sculpt on it. Go on to the figure itself. I had seen a lot of complaints on this figure, and I do agree with most of them, is that the head sculpt is not quite really working. Sorry, Starkiller is time to fall. You see, it's a very big head sculpt, but nonetheless very cool. It's a silver eye in the scar, crew cut, most of both clone troopers, but the helmet is too small for the head, so you kind of have to really wedge it on, and what I do, I like to flip up the back a little bit and push down over his chin, that way you don't get the chin bulge popping out. What I suggest you do with the figures, any of these figures that have the double blaster wield, is I took an army knife, you can take anything from a sharp pair of scissors to a saw blade and just slip this little section right here and I should give him the ability of holding the two pistols same thing is going to be on on this one you can see he has very nice articulation wise he has a ball joint head, ball joint shoulders, elbows and wrists he has more of a he actually has more of a ball joint waist swivel swivel hips a ball joint knee and it's very small, but he does have a ball joint leg. Okay. Uh, he's very cool nonetheless. I got him off Amazon.com. I get a lot of my figures off Amazon.com. Just the fact that they're rare ones and they are a little expensive. But if you're willing to pay the extra five, ten dollars for the figure, it is to me it's worth it. Because you know you're not gonna find him anywhere else. The Django Fett I I was looking for for this is not a joke seven months. I was looking for it, I was planning on buying it at a Comic Con, and I didn't see it, and I kept looking and looking and looking, and wasn't, I was started looking in April, March of 2000, uh, March of 2011, and I did not actually find one and get one till October of 2011, so it was a really great find to me, and it's one of my most treasured figures. Next up I'm probably going to give you a look on is... The Anakin Skywalker with the astronaut gear, and maybe later on I'll give you a look on my in the my uh, Plo Koon Jedi Starfire, which is in the process of being made right now. This is 15 Master Jedi. May the Force be with you.